This cute little sheep just wanted to find new friends. Why not? A huge bird with feathers that look like fluff seems intriguing and adorable. However, the animal made a mistake in choosing a friend. It's an emu, a crazy bird. You'd be surprised, but emus are awfully recognized as the most dangerous birds in the world. They are flightless birds that can run at speeds comparable to a mini car. So their legs are generally powerful. Moreover, they have a very strong beak and quick reflexes, but the main thing is aggression. Some animals avoid fights until the last moment. For example, cheetahs will fight only as a last resort. Some animals are easily provoked, like grizzly bears. Finally, there are mischievous birds ready to fight at the slightest provocation, like some eagles and honey buzzards. And then there's the emu, a bird that doesn't need a reason to fight at all. It can casually stroll, look for food, and suddenly attack the nearest animal for no apparent reason. It seems like there's a timer inside the emu's head, and when it runs out, it is fighting time. Moreover, emus don't care who or what is in front of them. Kangaroos and wallabies are quite tough fighters, but the bird doesn't care about their fighting qualities. It sees whoever annoys it and is ready to attack. Although emus may seem quite amusing at first, when their head unexpectedly soars, ending up above you and dangerously close to your eyes, it becomes less amusing. Wildlife researchers allow themselves to approach emus only by holding a shield in front of them, resembling a SWAT team shield. Although the police have plastic shields, those are kind of like toys for emus. Their attacks can only be withstood by a full metal gigantic shield of a Roman legionnaire. No wonder the emu wasn't thrilled about the witch-friendly sheep. Well, at least the club and hoofed one was survived. Apparently, the bird just decided that such an opponent wasn't worthy of its attention. Even small birds can be truly brave fighters if they have motivation. These birds, right here, saw a monitor lizard approaching a nest with eggs to snack on them. For birds of their size, a large monitor lizard is roughly like a grizzly bear for you. But the birds couldn't be stopped. To protect the eggs, they attacked the reptile. The birds spread their wings to appear larger and attacked from both sides. The most amazing thing is that it wasn't even their nest. You'll be shocked, but they defended a crocodile's clutch. So what? The birds don't care about whose clutch it is. The main thing is to protect the clutch. It's just unclear what the birds were guided by. They knew it was someone else's nest, but were they aware that little crocodiles would hatch from the eggs? Perhaps it's pure instinct. I see eggs, I protect them. Or maybe they just didn't like the lizard? I don't know, what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Determination should not be confused with impudence. This pigeon thought it was the boss here. It invaded an owl's nest when there were only chicks in there. The chicks were covered with fluff, lacking not only strong claws, but also proper features. For the pigeon, they were not a threat, and the audacious bird decided to simply occupy this nest. It intimidated the chicks, making them huddle in the far corner. The chicks pressed against each other, trying to calm down and wait. Meanwhile, the pigeons set their rules. The female even laid her own eggs there. Perhaps if the occupation had continued, they would have wiped out all the chicks one by one. So what? They took someone else's dwelling, so why fly far for food? Fortunately, this nest has its own armed forces. Within minutes, an owl bursts into the nest, acting as decisively as the 300 Spartans against Persian invaders. Look at how the chicks gained confidence and scattered to different corners watching as the parents humiliated and literally trampled the arrogant pigeon. Of course, in the melee of the struggle, the aggressive bird's egg was destroyed, and the pigeon was just in shock. It thought that no one would interfere with it establishing its rules here, but it turned out that owls know how to protect their home and their babies. It seems like the owl genuinely enjoys restoring justice. 
Against its talons and beak, the pigeon had not a single chance. The owl stretched out the pleasure of retribution and at the same time behaved as carefully as possible to avoid crushing the chicks during the flight. The pigeon managed to fly away. The owl's main goal was to free the seized nest and protect the little ones. But the bird probably didn't go far. Tonight, it would likely become dinner for the owl family. Pelicans may seem harmless as they usually move slowly and gracefully. However, it's deceptive. In reality, they are true bandits, just lazy ones. A pelican waits for prey to come within striking distance. Surprisingly, many fall for it. The pelican capitalizes on its reputation as a harmless oddball with a peculiar beak and swiftly grabs the vixen. They catch pigeons, and this pelican attacked even a cat. This animal underestimated the bird, but luckily survived by dodging at the last moment. This woodpecker was calmly searching for insects in the tree bark when a huge snake bursts out of the nest. It protruded from the hole and started hunting the woodpecker to grab it with its huge jaws and pull it in. Its head was like half of the woodpecker, a real monster. Even through the screen, it's unsettling to see such a surprise. The snake's strike was lightning fast, but the woodpecker managed to dodge. However, this was just the beginning. The reptile underestimated its opponent. Surprisingly, the bird, which feeds on insects and lacks combat skills, really dislikes being scared, especially having its nest taken. In the end, the woodpecker attacked the snake itself and pecked it with its sharp, rapier-like beak. The snake got angry and started thrashing around. It looked frenzied, and it did manage to grab the poor bird. But that didn't stop the woodpecker. Even in the snake's grip, it continued pecking. Have you ever had a situation where a strong friendship started with a fight? It seems like this is exactly one of those cases. For a cat, the appearance of a parrot in the house is a strange event. Is it a toy or a prey? The parrot with its huge beak clearly explains to the cat that it is neither. That's what setting personal boundaries looks like, isn't it? The parrot could have used its sharp, curved beak and not only ended the conflict with the cat, but also the cat itself. However, the patient bird hits the opponent with its wings, making it understand that it has to accept the new neighbor. It seems to have worked. Perhaps it's the beginning of a strong, genuine friendship. What do you think? If you have experience keeping a cat and a parrot at home together, let us know about this in the comments section below the video. In general, these very different creatures can easily coexist peacefully. Parrots are extremely curious and often explore interesting objects with their beaks. Many cats are tactile and enjoy being gently scratched or petted. A relatively large bird is not perceived as food, and a cat may accept the new family member. Moreover, a parrot can amaze its furry neighbors. These cats underestimated the new companion who, despite looking very strange, can also meow. The cats are clearly shocked by this surprise. Moreover, parrots can stand up for themselves quite elegantly. This bird opened a box and found a surprise inside, but the cat didn't want to be bothered. A light paw swipe couldn't cause serious harm to the parrot, but it did clearly show that the cat didn't want any company. No problem, the carrot immediately closed the box and went about its business. During an attack on prey, a falcon folds its wings and dives, using gravity to enhance the impact several times over. This way, the falcon reaches the speed of a racing car, and the force of its strike can instantly break the neck of a bird three times its size. On the ground, a falcon can't use this technique, but its courage is undeniable. The falcon is 30 times lighter than the large dog it faces, a dog can simply step on the bird and finish it off in a few seconds. The falcon is confident. After all, the falcon's element is swift strikes from the air. But then the bird shows that it should not be underestimated regardless of the circumstances. 
Initially, the falcon tries to ignore the persistent dog, occupied with its prey. But when the dog becomes too annoying, the bird takes flight and starts chasing the dog, attacking it with thin but sharp talons. The dog is in shock. The falcon simply doesn't care about the opponent's size. It doesn't even try to fly particularly high and spends a few minutes chasing the dog to teach it a lesson. Which of these cool birds on our list today impressed you the most? Share your opinion with us in the comment section below the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This makake didn't feel particularly threatened by this yellow marten. Although the body length of this small predator is the same as that of a monkey, the marten weighs much less. She is bouncy, agile, and seems to be just studying the primate with her usual caution. But this just isn't true. The makake had to call his whole flock for help. Maybe if there were about a hundred primates, the story would have a different ending. And so, the monkey realized too late that the marten was not playing with her, just choosing which side to strike a fatal blow from. The predator attacks with lightning speed. Neither the dexterity of the limbs, nor the speed of reaction, nor the superiority in mass are saved by the monkey. Jumping around her gave the result. The marten determined exactly where to hit. One bite, and the primate is already lying and twitching in convulsions. And the marten, in front of the astonished participants of the photo safari, carries off the victim, and without obvious difficulty lifting the body, which weighs more than the predator itself. The adult African elephant is the largest and most massive land animal in the world. The masses of males can reach five tons, and they can pull up trees by the roots, scatter enemies like a bowling ball scatters pins, and they are also very smart, have an excellent memory, take care of their family members. In general, for a predator, an elephant is almost an invincible beast. Almost, because young individuals can be hunted by lions. Usually, to defeat such an opponent, the joint efforts of the whole pride are needed. Lionesses drive the baby elephant, immobilize him, and inflict maximum damage to exhaust his strength. Huge male lions, with the help of females, bring down elephants to the ground, where the pride is already finishing off such prey together. To discourage a young elephant from the herd, not to let him call for help and have time to deal with him before the appearance of relatives is quite a difficult task. But as you can see, these lions coped with it. The strength of the lion pride is impressive, isn't it? Although the elephant is still very young, its mass fluctuates around 2 to 3 tons. That is, 12 to 15 times more than that of lions. To my misfortune. After all, attacking elephants is a big mistake. And the main reason is not their phenomenal strength and ability to move surprisingly fast. Like animals the size of a small house. The main danger for predators is the intelligence of the elephants. If the lions catch an antelope, the rest of the herd is likely to flee in panic. If the ungulates try to help the victim of the attack, then the conflict will remain within the framework of this one hunting case. No buffalo will return to the lions to fight with them again. For ungulates, the hunting that they were able to survive remains in the past. At best, as a memory that will help them avoid these predators in the future, I suppose. Elephants think differently. They have an excellent memory, which allows them not only to navigate the terrain, but also to remember those who are dangerous to them. And elephants also have an understanding of the connection between the causes and consequences of events. That is, theoretically, they can understand that their relative has become a victim of a particular pride of lions that inhabits this territory. If you add to this set also a sincere attachment to relatives, it becomes clear that, in the case of a successful attack on the baby elephant, the problems of lions do not end, but only begin. Because elephants know how to take revenge. Of course, herbivores in principle often treat predators aggressively. They are desperately fighting for survival and can purposefully pursue the enemy who attacked them. But these elephants have moved on. Their herd seems to have coordinated their actions in advance and went in search of their enemies. After the elephants found the lions, the giants were the first, despising the danger of a collision with a whole pride of predators rushed to attack. Some scientists are suspicious of the concept that animals can take revenge at all. This is a rather complex concept. 
But it is very unlikely that this behavior of elephants fits into the framework of a normal coincidence. Purposeful search for the lions who are to blame for them. They didn't see their baby elephant being attacked, so they figured out who did it. What do you think? Let us know your opinion in the comments. Do you agree that elephants purposefully took revenge for their relative? Or do you think that this is just a coincidence and the huge animals are just trying to clear the territory of their pasture from a potential future threat? Initiative in Attacking Predators A brutal battle in which elephants are trying not to drive predators from their feeding territory, but to deal with them, trample them, drive them into the ground, grab them with their trunk, and throw them into a tree. And you know what? The elephants are doing great. They rush to the lions like a hurricane. Predators react instantly. They also know how to act together. But the forces are too unequal. There is no chance against several adult elephants who cover each other, act at the same time fiercely and thoughtfully. Elephants chase every member of the pride and deliver crushing blows to all the predators that they can reach. In battle, they use their entire arsenal. Huge sharp tusks, a ramming blow that could turn over a bus, a flexible and strong trunk. And elephants can also use their legs to bring down all their weight on lions. The lions can only sympathize. They had never faced such a fierce attack before. Those lions that survived will have to form a new pride and take care of the wounded for a long time to feed them while they recover and cannot take part in the hunt. Their former lands will be occupied by a new pride that will displace them, and elephants will go further to migrate in search of food. It is unlikely that the lions will ever dare to attack representatives of this species again. Revenge or not, the elephants' attacks were definitely effective. The lions did not even try to fight back. Even all the pride lions are not capable of stopping a five-ton monster that has taken over the acceleration, which blows into the trunk and then swings its tusks as long as an adult's leg. When there are several such elephants, the predators can only run and confuse their tracks. And whose side are you on? Are you rooting for the elephants who want to get even with those who took away a young family member from them? Or are you on the side of lions who just hunted according to their own nature and now have to face the aggression of multi-ton giants? Leopards have amazing agility, which allows them not only to equip a den on a tree, but also to drag prey there. Unfortunately, this time it was not noticed by the lioness. They decided to take away the honestly obtained food from the spotted relative, even when lioness is stronger than a young leopard, and here there are two of them. And if a male with his huge mane and weighing about a quarter of a ton cannot climb a tree as high as that, then lionesses, who are about twice as light as males, will cope with this task. A larger cat managed to climb on thin branches and attacked the leopard. But she clearly underestimated the opponent. When a spotted predator is cornered, it gives a desperate fight. The details of the fight are hidden by the foliage, but the whole tree is shaken by the battle in the crown. The lioness underestimated the cunning of the leopard. She could only fit herself on a thin branch. Her sister had to stay under the tree. Besides, if you thought the leopard was trapped, then you're wrong, as are his enemies. The tree just can't stand the fights of angry panthers. The branch breaks off, and both opponents collapse to the ground. That's just the lioness messed with the wrong opponent. A fall from the height of a third story clearly stunned this lioness, but the leopard, with its usual elegance, jumps right out of it and runs away. Well, but the lioness has still got the meat they wanted, but the leopard also saved his own life, so we can say that the fight ended in a draw.